PlanetVac is a novel sample collection system used for pretty much any planetary body, for a moon, for Mars, uh, wherever you can imagine we can use PlanetVac. What it does is uh, kind of like your vacuum. It creates an area of high pressure in the front, uses an area of low pressure in the back to suck up sample. Uh, the best thing about PlanetVac is how simple it is. So what it's doing uh, is it fires pneumatics inside of a regolith. So you might think, like out here in the desert, uh, just kind of sandy dirt kind of stuff. It could be on an asteroid, it could be wherever. It's everywhere uh, in the universe. So we fire in there and that's what we're collecting. So we're not looking for, you know, rocks, we're not drilling, we're collecting the stuff that's off the surface. Six, five, four, three, two, one. First, the massing rocket lifts off, translates over about a meter, and lands inside of our sample bin, uh, which has our Mars Mojave simulant in it. All right, uh, honeybee sampling in three, two, one. Firing. We remotely trigger Planet Vac to collect sample, which lasts about 10 seconds. Then with the all clear from Mastin, we lift off again, translate back that one meter, and land right back where we started. So the Flight Opportunities Program allowed us to take our Planet Vac idea and actually strap it to Mastin's rocket, uh, putting it in a situation where uh, that's more realistic to what it might see in space really helps raise the technology level and reduce risk. 300, Nick said 320. 305. 305. Oh, guys. Oh, guys. Oh. We've got a lot. We got so now we know that it can survive uh, landing loads. Now we know that it can survive the rocket environment. Now we know that it can survive the heat loads and still collect a sample, retain the sample, and come back. Free, free, two. Wow. Yes.